I was wrong. A few months back, I posted this video and I told you that I thought the Paul C. Buff Digibee was potentially the most underrated flash unit on the market. I was simply wrong for a whole bunch of reasons that involve this flash, the Honey Badger from Interfit Photographic. Stay tuned and I'll explain. Hey gang, my name is Joe Edelman and my mission is to help photographers like you to develop a solid understanding of the hows and whys behind great photography so that you can achieve your goals as a photographer. I meant everything I told you about the Digibee. I wasn't paid to say any of it. They were my words and my opinions. But as soon as I posted that video, I was blasted because you can only buy the Digibee in the United States. I already knew that you couldn't buy it at retail and had to purchase it direct from the company, but I didn't think that would be a big obstacle. I also had a lot of people express concern about the future of Buff products since the company's founder and chief engineer, Paul C. Buff, had passed away in 2015. Indeed, as I record this video more than two years after Buff's passing, the most exciting new product that the company has to show this year is a wireless remote control that only manages four flash units using old-fashioned slide controls. It certainly doesn't appear that the company has a clear direction and focus on innovating for the future. They did, however, upgrade their website. After I recorded the Digibee video, I reached out to the new marketing director at Paul C. Buff regarding the availability of their products outside the US. And I was summarily told to tell my international viewers to contact their marketing department for an explanation. No solutions were offered or planned. It's really unfortunate that a company that was founded to bring affordable lighting to the masses more than 35 years ago has lost track of these values. They don't sell in retail stores. They don't sell outside the US. And I am very sorry to my viewers around the world for recommending a product that was simply not available from a company that was not willing to find a solution to get their gear to photographers who want to use them. This was the beginning of the end for my relationship with the Buff Company. My first studio strobes were the original Paul C. Buff white lightning strobes that sold for less than $150 in the early 1980s. All of this has led me to start looking for a solution. What lighting equipment can I use and recommend to my viewers that has similar features and a similar price point? And then, this past summer, the folks at Interfit Photographic released this golden beauty, the Honey Badger. And now I'll admit, I'm not sure which is worse, having a bee or a badger as the name for your lighting gear. But you know what? Given everything that is packed into this unit, I can live with the name and the color. If we look at the Honey Badger side by side with the Digibee, we can see that these units are extremely similar in design and build, with the Honey Badger coming in one tenth of a pound heavier and less than one inch bigger in size than the Digibee. The Honey Badger lines up spec for spec with the DB800. Power, recycle time, power range, all the same. The only performance difference is the modeling lamp. The Honey Badger has a 60 watt daylight balanced LED lamp, while the Digibee has a 75 watt lamp. This is not a major difference. Interfit has loaded the Honey Badger with some awesome features that give it a definite advantage over the Digibee. The Honey Badger has a wireless receiver built into the unit. The Buff Digibee requires the purchase of a $29.95 Cyber Transceiver. This Cyber Transceiver has a row of super thin pins that you have to carefully line up with very tiny holes on the top of the unit. Then it sticks up above the unit, making it a target to hit, at which point the pins bend or break off. I know this from actual experience. The controller that allows you to use the group and channel features from Interfit sells for $79.99. The Buff equivalent called Cyber Commander sells for a hefty $179.95 and honestly has what I feel is possibly the worst user interface of any remote control on the market. Extremely tiny buttons and you need a magnifying glass to read the menus. Possibly the best feature of the Honey Badger Sync system is that they're part of a much bigger system. Interfit also makes a set of higher end studio strobes called the S1 and S1A, which have high speed sync and TTL capabilities. The Honey Badgers are completely compatible with the TTL remotes from Interfit, so they can be used as part of a grouping with the S1 strobes. The Honey Badgers use a Bowens mount for modifiers. The Bowens mount is the most widely used modifier mount, making it easier to find the right modifier for your job or budget. It takes only a simple thumb lever and twist to attach a modifier to a Honey Badger, compared to two levers and having to line up four grips with a Digibee. 
The Honey Badger interface is as simple and easy to use as it gets, with buttons that are easy to the touch and well laid out. The Honey Badger has a geared tilt handle. Now this may seem like a who cares feature. Both the Honey Badger and Digibees are compact heads, and they have no counterbalance. With the Digibee, if you have a large modifier attached, you better be supporting it when you loosen the handle to control the angle of the light. The Honey Badger's geared handle stops it from slamming down like the Digibee does. As if all that stuff wasn't enough to put the Honey Badger at the top of my list, Interfit includes a 24-inch pop-up softbox at no additional charge with every Honey Badger. These are full-featured 24-inch square softboxes with a baffle and front diffusion screen that fold up and fit in a travel pouch. And the real icing on the cake? The Honey Badger sells for $299.99, compared to the Digibee, which is $349.95. The all-in cost of the Honey Badger with a remote is 55% cheaper than the all-in cost of a Digibee DB800 when you include the CyberSync transceiver, CyberSync commander, and a cheap softbox from Amazon. The Honey Badger? It's a great value. The Honey Badger is available in retail stores, which means you can walk into a store, check it out, test it, learn more about it, and ultimately make an informed decision before purchasing. And yes, the Honey Badger is available internationally. Interfit distributes all throughout North America, Europe, and Dubai. Interfit also offers a two light kit, which includes two Honey Badgers, two soft boxes, two light stands, a wireless remote control, and a very well-designed carrying case. This gives you everything you need to start shooting for just $699.99. Just in case you're not following along with the math, you get the wireless remote control, two seven foot six inch tall medium weight light stands, which by the way are awesome quality, and a well-designed padded carrying case for just $100.01. I have to give the title of the most underrated flash unit on the market to the Interfit Honey Badger. For my money, I'm dumping buff as my lights of choice. I've sold my Digibees and replaced them with Interfit Honey Badgers. I've seen a few of the photography blogs refer to this flash as a cheap knockoff. I'm here to tell you, they could not be more wrong. I've been using these Honey Badgers for a few weeks now and I've been extremely impressed with the color accuracy and exposure accuracy. Add to that the build quality, features, price, and the fact that Interfit is clearly working to do what Paul C. Buff himself had imagined, to bring quality photographic equipment to the masses at reasonable prices. Look for more tips, tricks, and shots done with the Honey Badgers in my upcoming videos. And be sure to follow me on Instagram to see some of the shots with the behind the scenes lighting diagrams that I've created with these strobes. Until next time, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any videos. And go pick up that camera and shoot something because your best shot, <laughs> it's your next shot. So keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios.